So what does a governor general do exactly? It's a fair question, as the Queen's representative in Canada were not always sure, but I'll tell you, Gigi performs ceremonial duties. Yes, you get invited to the royal wedding. Yes, you get to hang out with A-list guests. But also written into the job description, the governor general must ensure we have a government. That is the confidence of parliament. In other words, it's a fitting role. For David Johnston, a lawyer with a firm grip on constitutional law, David made headlines in 2011 when he challenged the country's lawyers to be better. As we continue to build a smart and caring Canada, I know that you will contribute many great ideas to propel us towards building a smarter, more caring justice system. And while the GG is not to take sides on political matters, David, who led the No campaign in the historic 1995 Quebec referendum, did find himself at the centre of the Idle No More protest. We will not be participating in the meeting if the Governor General is not there on a nation-to-nation -nation basis. There's lots to explore with David, who today launched a campaign called My Giving Moment. The premise is simple. We all have something to give. The more we do, the better we'll be. Welcome to the program, the Governor General of Canada, His Excellency, the Right Honourable David Johnson. Hey, George, how are you? Your yeah, Excellency, how are you? Thank you, Richard, as always. Welcome back. Yeah, thank yeah, you, it is you. welcome back. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Here we get, uh, I suppose it never gets tiring, the whole Your Excellency thing, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does get tired. Yeah. Where's, where's the worst place you've heard it? Uh, well, I, when it comes out in my grandchildren's lips, it sometimes gets a little tired for them. Right. Yeah. And do you think they're doing it in sarcasm or for sarcastic Well, reasons? it's either that or Grandpa Book. I get one of the two. <laughs> I'll take the Grandpa part. That'd be good. But never been like at a shopper's drug mart at 3.30 in the morning, you know, getting solution for your contacts never, and goes, Your Excellency? Never managed to try the experiment. <laughs> You're probably wiser that way. Okay. This idea of giving your giving moment, ex explain this to people. We, we just sort of give a brief understanding of it, but why it's important to you. Well, we're launching the My Giving Moment uh, campaign uh, today, yeah. uh, Monday, and the idea is to encourage Canadians to have their giving moment, to discover how they can give of their time, talent, or treasure, big or small, and to make their community better as a consequence. The, the idea of this, of where it comes from, this My Giving Moment, where does it come from in you? I suppose you learn this from your own family. My grandparents were, were Methodists. They were very poor people, but they tithed the old Testament notion of 10 percent of whatever yeah. you're in. And you get back hundredfold. Is that the deal? Well, certainly they they were very happy people. Yeah. Uh, they uh, never wanted uh, the meals I had at their home were always wonderful. I think of the bread that my grandmother would would bake and the pies. I have only memories of of that kind of simple abundance there. But that 10 percent was very important to them. Mm -hmm. And um, I think in my, my own life, I've just been so, so touched and, um, and helped by people along the way. I remember I was 14, I grew up in Sault Ste. Marie, and uh, we were playing um, a game on a Friday night in the one indoor arena, and there was a scout from the Toronto Maple Leafs coming to town. I got a call on a Thursday from a man who ran a small sporting goods store. He said, come into my store an hour and a half before the game, I've got something for you. And I said, well, yes, Mr. Taylor, I will. And I came into a store and he had a new pair of skates for me. I had never seen, never touched a new pair of hockey equipment. I had the oldest, most hand-me-down stuff. I scored three goals that night. It was the skates. It was the skates. <laughs> How many penalties did you get? I was skating too fast for the referee to see me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> You're such a, a, a kind, gentle, law-abiding man. But on the ice, were you a... The beauty about... I'm not answering your question, George. The beauty of... Uh, <laughs> your Excellency, I'll just ask it again. <laughs> the beauty of the game of hockey is, is, is the speed of the game. That's because not an answer. <laughs> You were dirty, weren't you? No, on the I was not. I played the game within the rules. You played within the rules. I was actually a little guy, and I think the last fight I had in hockey was about age 11, and I thought, why do you want to do that, especially right. with those bigger guys? Yeah, um, did being... Like having this position for the, for the amount of time you've had now, have you seen parts of Canada that you... And I don't mean geographically, but emotionally, parts of Canada that you, 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 you're surprised Absolutely. by? Absolutely. I love this country, um, and I've always thought it's a good country. I didn't realize how good it was until my wife and I have traveled in so many different communities and seen just the basic goodness of people doing their own thing to help their neighbor along. Something you've been really good at, in my giving moments, really good at this, is getting people to really... 
I guess, find their role and how they can participate in, in policy because many people feel disconnected. And I know I can ask you this question a million times and there's no way you're going to answer it, so we'll just be honest about it. But you know with what's going on with Prime Minister Harper and with the Senators and in Toronto with Rob Ford, there is a level of distrust that is being proven to be such a legitimate <laughs> thing in this country right now on high levels. When you go and have to talk to kids and try to get people, and you know that in the background, there's this noise. You know, what's going through your head? Well, first of all, you're right, George. You could ask me the specific question a hundred <laughs> times, and, and, and you'd have to ask it again yes, and again. Yes, I know, and I understand that. When I talk to uh, young people, uh, I, I talk about um, the great experience in living in this country and the important to, to participate in positive change to improve one's community. And I, I actually, I get a little lyrical. I quote um, Shakespeare. It's uh, from, from Hamlet. It's, it's Polonius to his son going off to university. Do thine own self be true, and it shall follow as the night, the day, that then thou canst be false to anyone. That, that one must develop one's own sense of values, one's own moral compass, and use that to guide you. And the best way to do that is to look yourself in the mirror and say, um, is this true to my own values? And I think in terms of young people deciding how and where they want to get engaged, uh, do so and be so, but, but do so with your own moral compass to take you in the right direction. Um, over the years, we talked about the tithing off the top. How has, how has your faith evolved and played a role in your job today? Uh, well, my faith is very important to me. Um, I'm a, a lay minister in the Anglican Church. Um, Did you ever sneak in and still just give, a, just give one? Uh, for me, it's, it's my family and, and my faith are the rocks that guide my life. And for me, it's really a, a very rational matter. I don't think faith and rationality necessarily fit together, but for me, the, the notion of, of love at the essence of the Christian message is really what makes life worthwhile. Pleasure to see you. So it's a My Giving Moment. The website is mygivingmoment.ca uh, and, uh, and see more about this thing that we were able to be a part of together in Ottawa. Uh, I'm so the... grateful to you, George. You're going to be with us for the yeah. kickoff. And bring your skates when we have time to skate in the Rideau Canal. That's the longest rink in the world. I've never skated the Rideau Canal. Well, let's do it together. It's, it's freezing eight, it's, out there. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> You'll go very fast. You'll be quite warm. It's eight kilometers <laughs> You've never seen from the Lorry up to the first lock, and you can do that four times. That's 32 kilometers. You get warmed up. Now listen, I, I have so much respect for what you've done and accomplished in your life, but I don't want to be outskated by the Governor General. <laughs> You'll skate backwards, I'll skate frontwards, and we'll make a pair. You'll still crush me. <laughs> a pleasure to see you, Great to see you, George. Thank, Thank you. you very much. MyGivingMoment.ca is the website. The right honorable David Johnson. We'll go right back. Thanks,